Engine flushes, miracle cleaner, or unnecessary risk? It's one of the most debated maintenance topics among car owners and even professional mechanics. Some swear by it, claiming it restores lost performance and dissolves hidden sludge. Others warn it can do more harm than good, stripping vital protection and triggering leaks. And to make it even more confusing, different automakers have completely opposite opinions on whether you should ever flush your engine at all. So, what's the truth behind this chemical cleanout? In this video, we'll break down what engine flushes actually do, the science behind their chemistry, and what major car manufacturers really say about them, so you can decide if it's worth it or not. When you pop the oil cap on an older engine and see a brown, sticky film or thick black gel, that's not just old oil. It's your engine slowly choking on its own waste. Inside every combustion engine, oil works non-stop to cool, lubricate, and clean. But over time, even the best synthetic oil reaches its limit. When that happens, the chemical balance inside breaks down, and what used to be smooth golden oil turns into something far more sinister. Engine contamination is an inevitable consequence of the internal combustion process combined with thermal stress and oil degradation kinetics. Engine oils are engineered to manage contamination through sophisticated additive packages. However, when the oil's performance capability is exceeded, residues begin to precipitate and solidify. Understanding the nature of these deposits is essential to selecting an appropriate cleaning methodology. Sludge is a semi-solid, viscous emulsion formed primarily from oxidized oil components, carbon residue, or suet, moisture from short trips where operating temperature is not reached, and uncombusted fuel pollution. This buildup is frequently accelerated by frequent short trips which prevent the oil from reaching the temperature necessary to evaporate moisture and contaminants. It hides in oil pans, valve covers, and narrow galleries, slowly starving critical parts of lubrication. Then comes varnish and lacquer, those hard amber-brown films you see baked onto metal surfaces. These are the high-temperature scars of oil oxidation, and once they form, they start gumming up piston rings, hydraulic lifters, and tiny oil passages. Varnish restricts oil flow and contributes to component sticking, such as in piston ring lands, which reduces compression and increases oil consumption. It's like cholesterol inside an engine. Everything looks looks fine until oil flow drops and metal meets metal. Now here's something most people don't realize. A normal oil change doesn't actually remove all the old oil. There is a significant amount of old oil left in the engine after a traditional oil change. This stays behind, trapped inside oil galleries, coolers, the pump, and tiny internal passages that standard draining can't fully empty. The moment you pour in fresh oil, that leftover contamination mixes right back in, instantly diluting the new oil's cleaning and protective chemistry. These residues aren't just inert leftovers. They act like chemical accelerants for oxidation quickly consuming the detergent and dispersant additives meant to keep your oil clean. The result? Your new oil starts its life already partially degraded, meaning each oil change cycle begins a little dirtier than the last. Over time, that creates what many technicians call the contamination loop, where every interval gets slightly shorter and every drain slightly less effective. That's exactly why some professionals advocate for controlled cleaning or flush procedures, not as a gimmick, but as a way to truly reset the lubrication system before introducing fresh oil. And this is where the idea of an engine flush comes in. It is a chemical treatment added to the crankcase before an oil change. It circulates through the system, dissolving sludge, varnish, and other residues, then carries them out when the oil is drained. The goal isn't just to make things look clean, it's to restore proper oil flow, free stuck rings or valves, and reset the lubrication environment so the next fill of oil starts fresh instead of contaminated. But not all flushes are created equal. Some are solvent-based, others are oil-based, 
and that difference matters more than most people realize. Solvent-based flushes are the aggressive kind. They use powerful chemical agents that rapidly dissolve sludge and varnish. They work fast, and they work hard, sometimes too hard. The main concern, as noted by multiple lubrication experts and independent lab reports, is that high-solvency flushes can strip protective oil films from seals and gaskets, leaving them dry, brittle, or prone to leaks. In addition, technical analyses of solvent-type additives have shown that they often exhibit very low flash points, in some cases reportedly around 150 degree Fahrenheit, which means that if any residue remains in the engine, it can thin the fresh oil that follows. This dilution effect lowers the oil's high temperature, high shear viscosity, weakening the protective film that keeps metal surfaces like bearings and cam lobes from making direct contact. That's where the danger hides. The engine may sound fine after the service, but the microscopic wear has already begun. This is why professionals stress that solvent flushes must be handled with extreme care and precise procedure. When used correctly, high-grade products like BG, EPR, or equivalent professional formulations can be effective. Used carelessly, however, they can quietly trade short-term cleanliness for long-term wear. Oil-based flushes, on the other hand, take a more balanced approach. Instead of dissolving deposits with harsh solvents, they use high concentrations of detergents and dispersants, similar to what's already in your engine oil, just in higher doses. These surfactant molecules surround and lift grime, keeping it suspended until the oil is drained out. They clean gradually, which is make them safer for seals and less likely to clog small passages with large chunks of dislodged sludge. That's why detergent-based flushes like Liquimoly and Seafoam are recommended for preventative maintenance rather than emergency deep cleaning. In simple terms, a solvent flush is like using acid to clean your pipes. It's fast but risky. A detergent flush is more like using soap. It takes longer, but it's gentle and safe for regular use. Most people think an engine oil change is enough to keep the engine clean, but it's not that simple. Regular oil detergents and dispersants have a cleaning limit because of oxidation degradation, and once that limit is reached, the sludge that's been suspended starts to drop out and bake onto metal surfaces. That's when flow slows down, friction rises, and your engine quietly loses power long before you feel it. A proper engine flush doesn't work magic, it just gives your oil chemistry the final punch it can't deliver on its own. It dissolves deposits that choke oil passages, especially in the upper valve train where heat is highest and oil flow is thinnest. The result? Restored circulation, smoother hydraulic lifters, and an engine that feels instantly more alive. By dissolving or suspending these deposits, a flush ensures unimpeded circulation, allowing clean oil to reach vital parts. Compression comes back, horsepower returns, and oil consumption often drops without replacing a single part. And residual degradation products remaining after a routine oil change can act as oxidation initiators, immediately consuming the protective additives in the fresh oil. By thoroughly removing this legacy contamination, the flush ensures that the new oil's full additive package, including detergents, dispersants, and antioxidants, is dedicated entirely to protecting the engine surfaces, rather than immediately cleaning up previous neglect. This significantly improves the efficiency and lifespan of the new oil itself. Further, a cleaner engine reduces internal friction and allows for superior heat management as oil films are optimized. This translates directly to enhanced overall performance, better fuel economy, and a measurable reduction in harmful exhaust emissions. An engine with proper oil viscosity and flow requires less parasitic energy to circulate the lubricant throughout the system. But here's the other side of the coin, the side mechanics don't always mention until it's too late, because if your engine is heavily sludged, a, an aggressive flush can go from cure to killer in under five minutes. Think of sludge like hardened cholesterol in arteries. If you suddenly knock it loose, it doesn't vanish, it moves. Those chunks can clog the oil pickup screen, cut off pressure, and starve your bearings of oil. 
If the suddenly dislodged deposits agglomerate and plug this mesh screen, the oil pump is starved of lubrication input, leading to a critical rapid drop in oil pressure. This lack of oil supply results in near instantaneous oil starvation to vital components, such as main and rod bearings and the valve train, resulting in catastrophic engine failure within minutes. When that happens, the engine goes from running to ruined before you can even shut it off. It's called the mobilization hazard and it's the number one cause of flush-related failures. The root cause of this failure is not only the presence of sludge, but the rate at which it is mobilized. A slow, gradual cleaning process allows the debris to be processed incrementally by the oil filter. A rapid, aggressive chemical treatment mobilizes a volume of material that overwhelms the capacity of the pickup screen, initiating the critical oil pressure failure. The flush in this scenario acts as a catalyst that accelerates an already impending failure, as the engine was functioning precariously due to stabilized, hardened deposits. And modern engines are even less forgiving. Variable valve timing systems rely on microscopic oil passages and tiny control screens inside their solenoids. Mobilized sludge doesn't have to be visible to cause damage. Even fine particles can block those micro-channels and trigger fault codes or timing errors. These systems are highly intolerant of contamination because they utilize extremely fine internal oil passages and often incorporate micro-mesh screens. Even if the main oil filter manages the bulk of the debris, fine mobilized particles can bypass or overwhelm these internal solenoid screens. If a VVT solenoid becomes clogged, it loses its ability to meter oil pressure accurately, leading to incorrect valve timing, performance issues, fault codes, or outright engine damage. The sophistication of these systems means the risk profile for flushing has escalated significantly compared to older, mechanically simpler engine designs. Flushing also poses risks beyond clogging, specifically concerning the integrity of rubber and polymer components. Many solvent-based flushes are extremely aggressive. They don't just dissolve sludge, they dry out seals, harden baskets, and create leaks that weren't there yesterday. The aggressive nature of high-solvency flushes can physically attack the elastomer compounds used in seals and gaskets, causing them to dry out, harden, or shrink. This chemical incompatibility can lead to the initiation or exacerbation of oil leaks. And here's the paradox. In some high-mileage engines, that very sludge might be sealing worn seals and minor cracks. The process of flushing strips away this protective accumulated gunk, exposing the underlying worn components and causing new leaks or reducing engine compression where deposits had been acting as a temporary seal. Worse, if the flush residue isn't drained completely, it can thin the fresh oil that follows, lowering its high temperature viscosity and reducing its protective film strength. That means even the good oil you pour in can't do its job properly. And if all that wasn't enough, many automakers explicitly warn against flush additives. Some even void warranties if they detect solvent traces. A surprising number of modern manufacturers, including Ford, GM, and the large Japanese and Korean brands, take a firm or conditional stance against engine flushing as a routine procedure. Toyota is generally cautious but not entirely dismissive. They do offer their own genuine engine flush additive, but it's meant only for very specific conditions. When sludge buildup is confirmed, usually in vehicles with irregular oil changes, short distance use, or constant high RPM driving. It's not part of their normal maintenance schedule, and Toyota-affiliated engineers openly warned that flushing a high-mileage or neglected engine can do more harm than good by loosening thick deposits that can instantly clog the oil pump pickup screen. Honda, on the other hand, doesn't even leave room for debate. Engine flushing is not recommended by American Honda. There was no reason to perform engine oil system flushing as a maintenance procedure. That's an official line straight from Honda. They emphasize that modern oils already contain the detergents and dispersants needed to keep engines clean when changed on schedule. Any chemical additive, they warn, may actually reduce engine durability. Ford's position echoes the same tone, but with a sharper edge, warranty risk. In their technical literature, Ford explicitly warns that engine oil system flushing is not a Ford-approved maintenance procedure.
They go further to say that using unapproved additives or chemicals can void warranty coverage if damage results. Their internal policy is unambiguous. Any crankcase cleaner or flush product not listed in Ford service publications is considered an unnecessary and potentially harmful expense. If an internal cleaning is needed, Ford's solution is as simple as it gets. Drain the oil, replace the filter, and refill with Motorcraft oil that meets the specification in the owner's manual. And then there's General Motors, which might have the strongest stance of all. GM has issued multiple service bulletins over the years, stating that they do not endorse nor recommend engine crankcase flushing for any of their gasoline engines. The reasoning is technical. GM's engineers found that some aftermarket flushes contain solvents incompatible with engine seals and bearing materials. The result? Possible seal shrinkage or bearing wear. GM even clarifies that any resulting damage from a flush procedure is not covered under their new vehicle warranty. The only exception is in specific component cleaning, like transmission cooler lines after a rebuild, and even then only with approved GM tools and fluids, never for the engine crankcase. When you step back, it's striking how consistent this pattern is across manufacturers. The experts who design these engines, not the quick lube shops, are warning drivers that modern engines simply don't need chemical flushing when maintained properly. The consensus among professionals is that if your oil changes are on point, a flush is fixing a problem that doesn't exist. Modern synthetics already carry enough detergents and dispersants to keep the engine clean. That's why pros often see engine flushing as more of a quick lube upsell than a genuine necessity. But, and this is important, there are times when it makes sense. Think of a flush as a remedial treatment, not routine maintenance. If a car's been sitting, driven in extreme heat or stop-and-go traffic, or shows symptoms like sluggish performance or higher fuel use, a controlled flush can help. Same goes if you're switching oil types or rebuilding internals. Just remember, timing and technique decide whether it saves your engine or ruins it. The Safeway is slow and steady. Always start with a warm engine, add the cleaner, and only let it idle for about 10 to 15 minutes. No revving, no driving. That's where people go wrong. Revving a flush-filled engine sends thin, contaminated oil and loosened debris racing through tiny passages, and that's how VBT systems clog and bearings fail. Once done, drain it completely replace the filter, and refill with fresh, high-quality oil. Some technicians even do a double flush, one to clean, one to purge. It's overkill for most cars, but on a gunked-up engine, it can work wonders. Still, there are clear times to avoid flushing. If the engine has low oil pressure, leaks, or knocking noises, skip it. Sludge might be the only thing holding those internals together. Same goes for high-mileage engines where buildup is sealing old gaskets. And if your car's manual says no, listen to it. So what's the smart alternative? Gradual cleaning. Instead of chemical shock therapy, run short oil intervals every 500 to 1500 miles using high-detergency synthetic oil. This method lets the oil's own cleaning agents lift deposits safely one layer at a time while the filter traps the debris. It's slow, clean, and zero risk. You can also use gentle oil-based soft flushes that dissolve varnish without attacking seals or thinning the oil. Bottom line, the best engine flush isn't a bottle, it's discipline. Regular oil changes, right viscosity, and quality filters are what keep modern engines spotless inside.